just released police charging documents indicate that the suspect shot Barksdale multiple times. Surveillance footage and cell phone data put him at the crime scene. A gun recovered by Anne Arundel County Police during a traffic stop with Pal is confirmed as the murder weapon. Following a lengthy investigation, our detectives today arrested 28-year-old Garrick Powell for the killing of Mr. Barksdale. Court records indicate Garrick Powell may have benefited from a revolving door criminal justice system. For example, in October 2020, records show Powell was in jail on a weapons and witness intimidation charge. The city state's attorney's office says prosecutors demanded he be held without bond. However, the judge allowed him to be released on his own recognizance. In February this year, Anne Arundel County Police charged Powell with gun and drug possession. They say he skipped out on home detention. Mayor Scott is urging better coordination and communication between law enforcement and neighboring jurisdictions. This is what we were talking about when we're talking about coordination. We have to make sure that the systems are talking so that uh, families aren't going through this. Investigators believe Barksdale, playing his usual role of peacemaker, may have inadvertently created a beef with the suspect. It does not appear to be a random act. Surveillance footage from the crime scene, numerous interviews with family members, and the comparison of physical evidence from multiple jurisdictions led to the arrest of Powell. Barksdale, known as Tater, is a victim of the very gun violence he dedicated his life to prevent. Police say Powell fatally shot him outside the Douglas Homes housing project. His death continues to generate an outpouring of grief. He was a personal friend of Mayor Scott. He believed that everyone had value and a purpose. What the Safe Streets family feels right now is grateful and relieved and angry and saddened. Use this tragedy and find the triumph in it. Find the joy in it. What is your soul calling you to do? What police charging documents do not reveal is a possible motive in the shooting. Police say the investigation continues. Reporting live from downtown, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.